Hello everyone and welcome to my next reaction to Supernatural. So I really loved the last episode. I thought it was great. Um, I do, however, hope we do see Charlie again. And just a note, please don't tell me, please don't write it in the comments. Um, I would like to find out myself through these reactions. Okay, um, but I'm excited for the next one. Let's get into it. Oh my. Oh! Hello. This is very Norman vibes. Oh. Gets me every time. Every time? Sweetie, you're in the wrong line of work. <laughs> me, oh no. It's me. Ah! Oh, it looked like a snake time. No, don't turn into a big snake! Also, if that was Rocco, and that, that somebody was doing that to me, they wouldn't have an arm anymore. Buffalo milk? Yeah, hangover cure. What can I say? He's an amateur. The uh, slippery nipple shots at the Dolly Parton Dixie Stampede nearly killed. Nearly every joint in his body dislocated, every bone broken. Ugh. Poor guy's a human pretzel. You tell me what's got that kind Is of strength. It... <gasps> oh. Subtle. 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 But where's the dog? Oh, whoa. Was there anybody else here when you showed up? No one. No, other than uh, the colonel. Oh, there he is. Excuse us. <gasps> what are we so, bringing him? So, uh, all right, well, let's keep digging. But, uh, no, here. I don't like the way that was looking at me. The owls are not what they seem. No, they are not. Mm -hmm. Olivia and Dylan Camrose? At your service. The two are members of SNART. Founders and co-presidents, actually. Uh, can we interest you in some literature? Why are they wearing or some black suits? Well, he was murdered last night, and his smart logo was found at the crime scene. His business is funded by hunters, and you know how hunters are. They're selfish dicks who define themselves by what they kill. And as animal advocates, we couldn't stand for that. Well, last night when we were tagging the joint, we heard this voice. A hissing noise. It freaked us out, so we ran out into the alley. But someone attacked us. It sprayed us in the eyes with mace. And it's not like we could go to the cops. So now we look like total douchebags. Because we have to wear our sunglasses. Okay, it? at least that sort of explains that. <laughs> is it like a snake man? It the is. Is it a snake man? Premature death and it's not caused by mace. Blunt force, radiation, venom. <gasps> is it snake? It's a snake man. The taxidermist was constricted. Olivia and Dylan heard hissing, and they were sprayed in the eyes. I'm not okay. By venom. Somebody help me. Okay, so... <laughs> snakes either envenomate or constrict. No snake does both. Correction. Freaky-ass mega snake monster. <gasps> no! There's not, like, a friend that could have taken his dog? Aren't you early, dude? What the fuck? 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 No. Uh-uh, you stay away. Oh, sweetie pie. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I don't like, I don't like this. Oh my god, what are you doing? What are you doing with the fucking cat? What are you fucking doing? Thank God that looks so fake. Dude, uh, horrific. You said you're from a perfume company. Oh, so he turns into whatever animal he eats? That was horrible, and I hated it. I hated it. I hated it. Thanks. 
I said I'm not good for no. Are you sweetheart? That was the taxidermist dog. So he's been in both crime scenes? Maybe he's a suspect. Maybe. No. Uh, he's a good boy. Doesn't really... Nope, just a hundred percent good boy. I guess we can uh, rule out killer. You agents need any further assistance? Uh, well, let me know. Officer, excuse me. Uh, can I borrow your hat? Oh, the best like suspect, time. not suspect, witness ever. I don't know why I said suspect. <laughs> so, Colonel's not a suspect. If he's a witness. Th thank you. <laughs> oh, I said that. <laughs> That's monkeys. Kevin. Hey, it's me. How do we speak to a dog? How do we speak to a dog? Anyways. Oh my goodness, this is the best thing yeah. ever. All right, I'll do it. You, you got enough on your plate. Like what? You're tired. You're on the mend. Don't look so bad. The Isla. Heel, me, Doug, Aru, no grar, Vitur, Oren. All right, let's get this party started. Tell me everything you know. <laughs> oh no. Maybe it takes a second. At least it didn't affect your appetite. Jeez. Yeah. Change the station. <gasps> Change the station. What? What? You, shut up, it's working. It, go. You call this classic rock? <laughs> and Dennis DeYoung? A punk. Dennis DeYoung's not a punk. He's Mr. Roboto, bitch. Why are you arguing with a dog about sticks? Well, uh, okay. <laughs> what were you trying to do? The douche wheel who killed my best friend was wearing a Oh, his hat. best friend. And what had to? So what's he saying? Uh, that the, the guy, he smelled like ground chuck and soap suds and old lady cream. Dean, what are you doing? I don't know. Uh. This is ridiculous. I mean, it's so ridiculous. No, I, I, oh, are you kidding me? Hey, dick move, pigeon. Screw you, ass hat. <gasps> what? Wait a minute, can I hear all animals? Yeah. Animals have a universal language. Oh. Like Esperanto. He's being a douchebag. Who you calling douchebag? Douchebag. <laughs> oh, shut it, you winged rat. Go cry to mama. Oh, that's it, you son of a bitch. Dean! You think because the windows are open that that's some sort of a treat, huh? No, the dog's coming in. Respect. Oh my goodness. Okay, the Colonel can also become a main character in the show. If we just... Oh! Dean, that's... Stop, it's weird. It's weird, Dean. Dean. Yeah, baby. Dean. Yeah. Let's move on. Yes. We're going to pretend that entire that scene that didn't going. happen. Honestly, I couldn't see. And you know no one's going to pay for my surgery. Just another casualty of the system, I guess. No, no. I don't think I'll you know. I pedigreed. Well, I'm sure you'll be out of here soon. Good luck. Oh, oh goodness, this, this episode's gonna make me want to adopt oh, another dog. Biscuits. Oh, biscuits. Just one biscuit. biscuit. But I saw everything. And I'll tell you, but it'll cost you. Are you kidding me? There he is. I saw his name. Well, uh, what do you want, huh? Bitch, please. I'm gonna rat someone out. It's gonna be worth my while. Mm -hmm. I want a belly rub. Not from you, sweetie. From that big one. <laughs> oh, there. 
I would absolutely find a way to take all those dogs with me and be, if I was able to communicate with them and do whatever I could to find them a good home suitable for them and their needs. Eat you? Look at the refrigerator behind you. Yeah, behind you. In the fridge. Owl brains, cheetah liver, Ew. grizzly heart. Oh, a spell book. What's a chef doing dabbling with witchcraft? It says here, whatever animal organ you ingest with the right mix of hoodoo and spices, you temporarily gain the power of that animal. Kitchen shut down. Shut down? Why? Because uh, you're both in clear violation of Penal Code 8.14. Out! Come on! Get out! Both of you. Oh my. We'll let you know. Jeez! Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Wow, Ezekiel's just popping in and do doing the most. Oh, screw this shark to this. <gasps> You're my main course. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, goodness. This is a, this is an odd episode. <laughs> oh, my. What, did he eat Keanu Reeves? Like... <laughs> What did you do to my brother? Your brother? What was your mum smoking when she had you two? He's fine, he's just taking a little cat nap before dinner. You're sick. I told that once or twice. No, no. Not in the head. I, I, well, you were that too, but I mean sick like cancer. Well, I guess dogs really can sniff it out. Huh. Stage four carcinoma. So that's why you're doing this. What happened? Wow. No one could save me. But then with the help of a pawny shaman and a zoo membership, I found a cure. Yeah. Well, I didn't mean to kill anyone. At first. But if people got in my way, they became collateral damage. You really think the power you hold over other people's lives can make up for what you lack in your own? Wow. I mean, I don't know what the hell he is, but with healing powers like that, who cares? Oh boy. He could cure me. Ra ra. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, no. Let's go. No, no, no. Ay, ay, ay. Uh. Sorry, Wolf Trump's dog. Maybe, but not a whole pack. Oh my goodness! It's everybody! Let's go! The best squad ever. Ever. Oh, it's gonna get gross. Yeah, it's gonna get really gross, but... Wow. Where the hell you are? Hank! Come on. Don't make me lick your damn face. Oh, yeah. Hey! Don't, don't do that. Aren't you the sweetest? Uh, back off, tofu breath. <laughs> starving. I'm gonna be pooping wheatgrass with these two. <laughs> Wish we could take you on the road with this, but 
So oh, much for dog. I wish I could talk to Rocco. Oh, I, I was afraid to tell you earlier, but I boffed in your back seat. You... What? I'm gonna miss you, buddy. I'll miss you too. And by the way, as an honorary dog, there's something you should know. Dogs aren't really man's best friend. Who's talking about? I know it sounds like a conspiracy theory, but the real reason we were put here was to. <laughs> But here to do what? Oh, oh, my, oh my goodness! Yeah, the spell wears off. Stetson man got you pretty good. Yeah, I'm fine. I, I just, uh, I guess I'm thinking about what he said. Come on, Sammy. That was out of his freaking gourd. Why would he ask that? Why, why did he want to know what I was? Who the hell knows? Oh, he was all boy. jacked up on oh, juice. Oh, no! You can't reason with crazy, right? <sighs> Trust me, Sam, you got nothing to worry about. Okay, guys, well, that was a weird one. That was certainly a an odd <laughs> one. Um, you know, again, I do like when we have these episodes where the writers seemingly just have a lot of... The, it's like they come up with, like, one idea and then they really run with it. And they're like, what if Dean could talk to dogs? Um, and what if we get one of those dogs voiced by Leslie Jordan? I mean, <laughs> um, I really, uh, I, I did enjoy it. I did not like the uh, eating of, of the animals, or particularly the eating of the cat um, scene. Did not love that. It did look kind of fake, so that was, it made it a little bit easier to watch, you know what I mean? But it did, I didn't like it. I didn't like it, not one bit. Um, but uh, definitely at the beginning, I was very nervous that it was just going to be a giant snake man, and eventually it was going to turn into a giant snake, and then I would have to deal with a giant snake. Ugh. I just, I'm just, I'm just waiting. I'm waiting for a giant snake or many snake type of episode in Supernatural and uh, I, d I just don't want it. Anyway, um, it was, uh, you know what, I, I liked that Dean could communicate with the, I loved the Colonel so much, um, really fun and um, the, as per usual, I am a little bit nervous about everything with Ezekiel. I'm not going to reiterate everything over and over again. You know, it's kind of funny. They're kind of like, they keep inserting like one little thing or um, maybe a couple of things within each episode in these earlier episodes, you know, reminding us that that's still a thing. And, you know, um, Ezekiel sort of uh, healing Sam and then... This guy wanting to eat Sam, and I did, oh my goodness, <laughs> what an episode. I, oh my goodness, I really do wish that I could talk to Rocco sometimes. I mean, I do, I'm, I'm very in tune with um, what he wants usually, or um, I'm even in tune with like his barks, like which is for which, it's funny in that, that initial scene with the, the taxidermist, and, you know, the colonel's barking and he's like, what? It's just me. I was like, I would be able to tell if... Rocco has very different barks if, like, like a bark of, like, I want some scritches or, uh, you know, I want to eat or something. He actually usually doesn't bark that much um, for those specific things. But it's a very different vibe than, like, oh, my God, there's an intruder. <laughs> At least for me. Maybe it's just me. But... Um, anyway, that, that would be great if I could talk to Rocco for a little bit and, oh, when the colonel was like, oh, he killed my best friend. Oh, my goodness. We don't deserve dogs. I loved the dogs coming in at the end. Squad goals. Love that. It was probably really gross. They panned away. There wasn't too much uh, uh, Carol moments in that. Uh, maybe she got a vacation or a break or something. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but, you know, 
an odd episode, but relatively enjoyable, I guess. All right, um, I think that is about it. If you would like to support me on Patreon or subscribe, I would really appreciate it. But if not, I'm just happy that you were here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.